It's important to look at additional superweapons that Putin possesses because Russia is adding supersonic missiles to its arsenal. As evidenced by the most recent successful test of the Sarmat Intercontinental Ballistic Missile, one of the superweapons announced in 2018. Welcome everyone in today's video. We're going to tell you Russia reveals five never seen before weapon. President Putin recently signed the State Armament Program of Russia SOP, a 10-year agreement that is reviewed and approved by the president every five years. But before we proceed the further video, if you're new to this channel, remember O oh ahead and to hit the bell icon to subscribe so you won't miss the informative videos we will upload in the future. Plans for new weapon purchases, military equipment maintenance and repair, and research and development for new systems are outlined. The ICBM, with a focus on dodging missile defense systems, was one of the main topics of the new SAP. This was mirrored in the list of super weapons that President Putin disclosed in his well-known speech in 2018. A Vanguard hypersonic glide vehicle, Poseidon nuclear-armed, underwater unmanned vehicle, Buravestnik nuclear-powered cruise missile, Kinjal Air-launched hypersonic missile, and Sirkon ship-launched hypersonic missile were among the other missiles on the list, in addition to the Sarmat ICBM. With a hypersonic boost glide, range of more than 6,000 kilometers, the Avangard is a vehicle that can transport both conventional and nuclear payloads. The nuclear warhead of the HGV is more than 2 megatons in TNT equivalent. The R-28 Sarmat, which was just successfully tested and is expected to be deployed later this year, will replace the SS-19 Stiletto, which has been the ballistic missile that has transported the Avangard to its apogee as a boost glide weapon. On April 23, the chief of the Roscosmos Space Agency declared that the new Sarmat interplanetary ballistic missile would be stationed in the Krasnoyarsk area of Siberia, some 3,000 kilometers east of Moscow. After reaching its suborbital peak, approximately 100 kilometers away, the HGV detaches from its rocket and descends through the atmosphere in the direction of its destination. The HGV can maneuver to make its trajectory unpredictable for interception by air and missile defense systems, and it can cruise at atmospheric speeds of up to Mach 20, or 20 times the speed of sound, according to statements made by President Putin himself. Additionally, it is claimed to be able to confound defense systems by deploying countermeasures while in flight. Given its potential to strengthen nuclear deterrence, Poseidon could be the most revolutionary superweapon in the Russian arsenal. Intercontinental nuclear-powered nuclear-armed autonomous torpedo is the description of the Poseidon. The weapon is predicted to travel at a speed of about 70 knots, which is quicker than current torpedoes. Some reports even put its speed at 108 knots, rendering it uncatchable. Its operational depth is also estimated to be approximately 1,000 meters, making it inaccessible. The Poseidon UOV, which is nuclear reactor powered, can launch and target places with unprecedented flexibility. Thanks to its limitless range, it can be fired from beneath the ice caps as well. Two nuclear submarines, the K-329 Belgorod Special Purpose Submarine and the nuclear powered Khabarovsk class submarine, will transport the Poseidon. These submarines are capable of carrying six Poseidon UVs each. In coastal areas, the Poseidon UAV is capable of destroying enemy infrastructure and aircraft carrier strike groups. It will probably be part of the Pacific Fleet, which might threaten us naval installations on the West Coast and major cities like Los Angeles. Additionally, experts speculate that Poseidon might feature a skiff, seabed, or mobile site launch op. Sighting UVAVs are being tested by the ice-breaking Russian auxiliary ships Vezdochka and Akademik Alexandrov suggesting that these vessels might serve as platforms for deploying and retrieving such a seabed version. The experimental nuclear-powered Buravestnik cruise missile from Russia has an unbounded range. There are several theories regarding this missile, but not much is known about it because it is veiled in mystery. Nezavisi Maya Gazeta's Alexander Sharkovsky claims that the missile's length is 9 meters while in flight and 12 meters during launch. The nose is 1 meter by 1.5 meters and is shaped like an ellipse. According to Sharkovsky, Yurovesnik is a solid-fueled booster engine, powered nuclear thermal rocket with a high-yield thermonuclear charge for a warhead. 
while Pavel Ivanov of VPK News claims that Burevisnik is between 1.5 and 2 times larger than the K201, and that, in contrast to the latter, its wings are situated at the top of the fuselage rather than the bottom. Ivanov goes on to say that since the missile will be deployed on a nuclear reactor, it must weigh a lot more than the KH-101, which rules out the 2160 or 295 Eames as potential missile carriers for Burevestnik. Instead, he suggests that the missile may be placed aboard a ship. However, rumors have also suggested that this missile may be carried by ground-based TEL vehicles, such as the MAN GT-7930 special wheeled chassis with an ATZ shape. US Intelligence claims that between 2017 and 2019, Burevestnik underwent multiple unsuccessful flying tests. In 2019, one of these nuclear-powered missiles went missing during another unsuccessful launch test and ended up in the White Sea. The rocket exploded during the attempt to recover it, resulting in the deaths of at least seven professionals and a radioactive spill. Russian authorities have reportedly stated that this missile may be operational by 2025. This year, the KH-47-2 Kinzhal gained notoriety when Russia declared on March 19 that it had used its Kinzhal hypersonic missiles to destroy a weapons storage depot in the village of Delayatin in the ivano frankivske region of western Ukraine. This was the first time a hypersonic weapon had been used. The following day, it was employed once more to attack a fuel store in Kostyantinivka, close to Mykolaiv. Speaking about the missile at a gathering with business executives, U.S. President Joe Biden himself stated that it's almost hard to stop it. The missile has a stated range of 2,000 kilometers and can travel at speeds between 5 and 12 Mach. It is capable of both nuclear and conventional warheads. However, the conventional warhead can be delivered more quickly and precisely. The Kinzhal, in contrast to hypersonic cruise missiles, reaches hypersonic speeds by pure power of propulsion. These missiles require a glide vehicle to manage re-entry. According to the national interest, the Kinzhal is essentially a modified 9720 Iskander, a short-range ballistic missile launched from the ground, with a new guidance system designed specifically for air-to-ground operations. It went into operational service in 2017. The missile's ability to maneuver at every point along its flight path makes it challenging to intercept. The Zircon is a vertically launched, maneuverable hypersonic missile with scramjet propulsion that can reportedly attain Mach 9 speeds and travel up to 500 kilometers at a height of 30 to 40 kilometers. Experts calculate that the missile has a payload capacity of 300-400 kg and a length of 8-10 meters. Bastion Mobile Coastal Missile Launchers and Universal Vertical Launchers 3s, 14 or to fire Zircon missiles at warships, submarines, and other targets. The missile underwent further tests in 2020 and 2021 after its initial test firing from the warship Admiral Gorshkov in January 2020. In October 2021, a significant achievement was made when the missile was fired from the Yasin class submarine K 560 Severovinsky. Sircon is launched onto a semi-ballistic skip glide trajectory after being propelled to a high altitude with a solid fuel booster. Once the target is within shooting range, it is destroyed using either kinetic energy or a detachable warhead. That's all for today's video. Alexei Kryvoruchko, the Deputy Minister of Russia, declared in January that the Sircon missile was nearing the end of its state trials and was being serially delivered to the Navy. Don't forget to like the video and hit the subscribe button to avoid missing any new videos from our channel. Thanks for watching and see you all soon.